Assalamu alaikum dear students, viewers and those who are watching right now. I welcome all of you from Muhammadpur Government High School online class. Hope all of you are doing well and I am also good enough by the grace of Almighty Allah. Dear students, though now we are passing hard time and it is too much boring actually for staying home so long. But you know and I do believe that this situation we will not last long and we will defi definitely back to our normal life soon. At the very beginning, I am going to introduce myself. This is Muhammad Masudul Alam Bhuya, Assistant Teacher English, Muhammadpur Government High School, Dhaka. Dear learners, in my previous class, I discussed about the Wizard of Apple. But today, I will discuss another important person or great person, Joyna Labidin the great artist or the pioneer of Bangladeshi modern art. Hope you are ready to join the class. Dear students, before going too deep in my lesson, I would like to show you some pictures. Let's see the pictures and try to guess about our today's lessons. Look at the pictures. Can you tell me what the pictures indicate here? And do you know him? I think your answer will be yes. And we know him very much. He is Joynul Abidin. And he is considered the founding fathers of Bangladeshi modern art. Let us try to know something about him by watching a video. Let's Watch a video now. By watching this video, now I think you have already understood what lessons we will learn today. That is Joynul Abidin, the great artist. Unit 7, Lesson 1. Joynul Abidin, the great ar artist. The students, after studying these lessons, you will be able to read and understand text through silent reading. Ask and answer questions. Listen to an audio text for specific information. Dear students, before going to start my lesson, you should know some keywords. And it will help us to understand the spaces clearly. Let's be introduced with new words. Our first word is famine. Try to guess the meaning and make a sentence. Here I have already given you a picture. Look at the picture. And I will provide you a sentence. The sentence is a famine is a widespread scarcity of food. So, I think you can guess the meaning of this word and that is 
द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस वर्ड इज एक्सट्रीम स्कर्सिटी ऑफ फूड एंड द सिनोनिम ऑफ दिस वर्ड फेमिन इज शॉर्टेज स्कर्सिटी लैक एंड वांट आवर सेकेंड की वर्ड इज स्केलेटल by reading this sentence i think you will guess the meaning of this word the human skeleton is the internal framework of the human body so the meaning of this word is relating to the bones in our body and the synonym of this word is outline in adequate our next keyword is charcoal try to guess the meaning here we see the picture and a sentence also here charcoal is a light wet black carbon residue produced by strongly heating wood so charcoal means a hard black substance similar to coal that can be used as a fuel and the synonym of this word charcoal is ash carbon and achromatic and our next keyword is scarce try to guess the meaning here we see a picture and a sentence Scarce is a design toolkit built to help you create your best work. So the meaning of this word is a rough or unfinished drawing or painting. And the synonym of this word scarce is diagram, design, or outline. Dear students. our next keyword is cynic try to guess the meaning here uh, we have already seen a picture it's a nice bless scenario and the sentence is the neighboring country has many cynic attractions and the meaning of this word cynic is providing or relating to views of impressive or beautiful natural scenery and the synonym of this word cynic is pretty or pleasing or lovely or attractive dear students now i will start our today's lesson i am going to read this passage so you will follow me and read with me i would like to request you to read this passage carefully and with full attention if you read this passage carefully you can understand the passage clearly and will do any activity by yourself so read with me and follow me the pioneer of bangladeshi modern art joinal abidin is widely acclaimed for this bengal famine sketches through the series of sketches joinal not only documental tated the harsh famine of 1943 but also showed its sinister face through the skeletal figures of the people destined to die of starvation in a man-made plight he depicted this extremely shocking pictures with human compassion he made his on ink by burning coal and used cheap ordinary packing paper for sketching using the ink and applying the brush where necessary he produced the drawings and 
cases which later became iconic images of human suffering. Joinul developed a knack for drawing and painting. When he was a high school student, after completing high school, he took admission in the government school art, Kolkata. He graduated with his first position in the first class in 1983. He was appointed a teacher of the art school while he was still a student there. He also attended the Slate School of Arts, London, during 1951-52. Joinal Abidin is considered the founding father of Bangladesh art. He was an artist of outstanding talent and earned international reputation. For his artistic and visionary qualities, he is referred to as Shilpa Charja, meaning great teacher of art in Bangladesh. He was the first principal of the first art school in Dhaka in East Pakistan, now Bangladesh. He organized the Navanno exhibition, exhibition in 1969. The exhibi exhibition included a 65 feet long scroll portraying the rural East Pakistan in face of abundance of poverty. This intensified the already heightened non-cooperation movement against the Pakistan regime. The exhibition was symbolic of the Bengali artist protest and milestone in our struggle for cultural and political freedom. Joinal Abidin's dynamic style of work is evident in a 30 feet scroll painting called Monpura, which was done to commemorate the death of hundreds and thousands of people in the devastating cyclone in 1970. He designed the pages of the constitution of Bangladesh. He founded the folk art museum at Sunarga and also Janolabidin Shangrahashala, a gallery of his own works in Mayonshing, 1975. The River Brahmaputra played the vital role in his paintings and was a source of inspiration all through his career. Much of his childhood was spent near the scenic river Brahmaputra, a series of water colors that journal did as a tribute to the river earned him Governor's Gold Medal in All India Exhibition, exhibition in 1938. This was the first time he came to spotlight and his award gave him the confidence to create his own visual style. Joinul Abidin was born in Kishor Gons on 29 December 1914 and died in Dhaka on 28 May 1976. Dear students, after reading these pieces, now we will try to know something about Joinal Abidin's words and related with him some words. These words are Shilpacharya, Monpura, Folk Art Museum, Shangrahashala, and Nobanno Exhibition. Shilpacharya, do you know what is the meaning of Shilpacharya? Shilpacharya means Shilpacharya means Shilpacharya. 
Shilpacharya means great teacher of art. Jainola Bidin was awarded with this title Shilpacharya for his extraordinary artistic talent. Next work is Manpura. We know that Manpura is a place of Bangladesh, but here it's not a place. Manpura is a 30 feet long scroll painting by Janola Bidin. This painting depicts the death of hundreds and thousands of people in the destructive cyclone in 1970. Folk Art Museum. This museum is situated at Sunarga in Bangladesh. Joinal Abidin established this museum to exhibit the creative work of our artisans and artists. Wooden crafts, brush, bamboo and metal crafts, painted work, musical instruments, pottery, textiles and ornaments etc. are displayed at this museum. Shangrahashala. This art gallery was established by Joinal Abidin in 1975 to keep his own works. Nobanno exhibition. In 1969, Joinal Abidin organized an exhibition with a 65 feet long scroll painting revealing the poverty of the people in the East Pakistan, now Bangladesh. It was his protest against the Pakistani ruler at that, at that time. Dear students, now it's time to do another activity. It is gap filling. Here we find five words. These are Brahmaputra, designer, charcoal, confident and graduation and a paces. Now, I will read the passes. You should follow me. Jainul Abidin completed his dash from the Government School of Art, Kolkata in 1938. He is the dash of the pages of our national constitution. He made paintings of famine with ordinary papers and burned dash ink. A series of watercolor painting is done by him as a tribute to his childhood memory by the river Dash. The winning of Governor's gold medal in 1938 made him Dash to develop his own style for drawing. Now fill in the gaps. Here I solve this problem and you should follow me and try to understand this passage clearly. Janul Abidin completed his dash. Janul Abidin completed his graduation from the Government School of Art, Kolkata in 1938. He is the dash of pages. So here we find another four words. Brahmaputra is not mess with this gap designer charcoal confidence so we will find the word he is the designer of the pieces of our national constitution he made paintings of famine with ordinary papers and burned charcoal ink a series of watercolor painting is done by him as tribute to his childhood memory by the river. Here we find only one river that is Brahmaputra. So here the river Brahmaputra. The winning of governor's gold medal in 1938 made him confident. Made him confident to develop his own style for drawing so we have already found the five right answer that is number a graduation number d designer number c charcoal and number d brahmaputra
and number E confident now we will listen this passage carefully Zainul Abidin completed his graduation from the Government School of Art Calcutta in 1938 he is the designer of the pages of our national constitution he made paintings of famine with ordinary papers and burnt charcoal ink a series of watercolor paintings is done by him as a tribute to his childhood memory by the river Brahmaputra. The winning of Governor's Gold Medal in 1938 made him confident to develop his own style for drawing. Dear students, after reading this passage, section A, now we will try to know something about four significant years of Jainul Abidin. Here we find four years that is 1938, 1914, 1951 and 1976. These years are very significant in Jainul Abidin's life. So let's move. In 1938, 1938 he graduated from the Government School of Art, Calcutta, now Kolkata, with the first position in first class. In 1938, he graduated from the Government School of Art, Kolkata, now Kolkata, with the first position in first class. Our next significant year is 1940. Let's move with 1940. 1940. He made his great famine sketches depicting the cruelty of the famine. In 1940, he made his great famine sketches depicting the cruelty of the famine. Let's move with 1951. 1951. He attended the Slade School of Arts in London in 1951 to 52. In 1951, he attended the Slate School of Arts in London in 1951 to 1952. Here we find another year, 1976. Let's move with 1976. 1976. He died in 1976. Zainul Abidin. Died in 1976. Dear students, after reading these passages, now it's time to do an exercise that is identifying true false. If the stat statements are false, give the correct answer. First of all, I will read the stat statement and you will try to write the answer in the comment, comment box. The st statements are Number A. The beauty of famine is depicted through Zoynal's paintings. Number B. <coughs> Monpura is the name of a painting. Number C. Zoynal Abidin's gallery Shangrashala was established in 1975. Number D. For four years, Zainal Abidin has studied on arts in London. Number E. Zainal Abidin was both a student and a teacher of Kolkata Art School. Dear learners, I hope you have written your answer. Now, I will give the correct answer and you will check it by doing best the answer. Here is my answer. Click on the false button for correct statement. The first one, the beauty of a uh, of famine is depicted through Zainul's paintings. It's a false statement. So the right answer is Zainul's paintings depicted the cruelty of famine. And second statement is true. Monpura is the name of a painting and our third statement is Zainul Abidin's gallery Shangrashala was established in 1975 it said 
true sentence and our four fourth sentence for for four years Jonal Abidin has studied on arts in London it's a false statement and the right answer is he studied for two years in the Slate School of Arts in London 1951 to 1952 and the last one Jainal Abidin was both a student and a teacher of Kolkata Arts Art School it's a true statement yes students after doing some activities let's enjoy another video clip Joinal Abedin is the great artist of Bangladesh with exceptional talent and international repute. Joinal Abedin with few of his colleagues had given a new shape to modern art. He was named Shilpacharya for his extraordinary artistic genius. He drew a series of sketches on the man-made famine in 1940. He was born in Kishorganj on 29 December in 1914. His childhood is spent in the beautiful surroundings of the river Brahmaputra. He has drawn a series of watercolor paintings as a tribute to this river. This painting has earned him the Governor's Medal. He founded the Government Institute of Arts and Crafts in Dhaka in 1948, which is now known as the Institute of Fine Arts. Dear students, after watching this video and listening some audios, now it's time to do an activity. It is multiple choice question and choose the best answer let's do this activity together here is your activity i am going to give color mark in the right answer but you will write to write the correct answer in your notebook the, our first question is joinul abidin achieved dash honor here we find four answers national international national and international and local so here right answer is general within achieved national and international honor our second question is he was known as Shilpacharya for his dash he was known as Shilpacharya for his dash. Answer A. Achievements. Answer B. Teaching excellence. Answer C. Artistic and imaginative excellence. Number D. Bust paintings. He was known as Shilpacharya for his achievements. Techniques excellence, artistic and imaginative excellence, or bust paintings. Who is this right answer? I think right answer is artistic and imaginative excellence. Number three, Joinal Abidin raised his voice for dash through his exhibition. Answer R A national freedom, B cultural identity. C independence and cultural and political independence and which is the right answer you will guess and the fourth question is the subject matter of Monpura was about dash a devastating cyclone of 1970 B cultural and political unrest C the natural scenery of Bangladesh D the represent Depressions of Pakistani rulers and 
you should guess which is the right answer i think the right answer is the devastating cyclone of 1970 so dear students i think you have already completed your tasks and have written your answer in your notebook now check it with my answer yes uh, the first answer is national and international second question's answer is artistic Third answer is cultural and political independence and the last one is the devastating cyclone of 1970 dear students now move on an overall evaluation I want to know how far you have learned answer the following question here I have given you three questions you should try to give the answer and write the answer in the comment box and the question are question number one where is journals art gallery situated question number two which artworks of journal abidin did the ambassador specially mention question three how did he show the influence of river in his work so dear students write the answer quickly I am waiting for your answer. I think you can do this work. You can write the answer. I think you have already written your answer. Now I will give the answer and you should mess the answer with my answer where is journal art gallery situated journals art gallery is situated at Shaheb quarter park of Mayon Singh town number two which artworks of journal abidin did the ambassador specially mention the ambassador specially mentioned the famine series number three how did he show the influence of river in his work the answer is the river brahmaputra had an influence on his work he used water colors to paint the beauty of the river Dear students, after completing my lesson, now I will share with you another important topic that is the bad effects of smoking. Dear students, you have heard that cigarettes are bad for our health, but do you know why? Why should you quit smoking? Let's watch a video. About one of every three cancer deaths in the United States is caused by smoking. And it's not just lung cancer. Smoking can cause cancer in multiple tissues and organs, as well as damaged eyesight and weakened bones. It makes it harder for women to get pregnant, and in men, it can cause erectile dysfunction. But for those who quit smoking, there's a huge positive upside with almost immediate and long-lasting physical benefits. Just 20 minutes after a smoker's final cigarette, their heart rate and blood pressure begin to return to normal. After 12 hours, carbon monoxide levels stabilize, increasing the blood's oxygen-carrying capacity. A day after ceasing, heart attack risk begins to decrease as blood pressure and heart rates normalize. After two days, the nerve endings responsible for smell and taste start to recover. Lungs become healthier after about one month with less coughing and shortness of breath. The delicate, hair-like cilia in the airways and lungs 
start recovering within weeks and are restored after nine months, improving resistance to infection. By the one year anniversary of quitting, heart disease risk plummets to half as blood vessel function improves. Five years in, the chance of a clot forming dramatically declines and the risk of stroke continues to reduce. After 10 years, the chances of developing fatal lung cancer go down by 50%, probably because the body's ability to repair DNA is once again restored. 15 years in, the likelihood of developing coronary heart disease is essentially the same as that of a non-smoker. There's no point pretending this is all easy to achieve. Quitting can lead to anxiety and depression, resulting from nicotine withdrawal. But fortunately, such effects are usually temporary and quitting is getting easier, thanks to a growing arsenal of tools. Nicotine replacement therapy through gum, skin patches, lozenges and sprays may help wean smokers off cigarettes. They work by stimulating nicotine receptors in the brain and thus preventing withdrawal symptoms without the addition of other harmful chemicals. Counseling and support groups, cognitive behavioral therapy and moderate intensity exercise also help smokers stay cigarette free. That's good news, since quitting puts you and your body on the path back to health. If you want to see more videos on building healthy habits, check out this playlist. And if you want to help support TED-Ed's non-profit mission, please consider making a small donation at patreon.com slash TED-Ed. Dear learners, by watching this video, I think you have got the message. Remember this, smoking cigarettes can have many adverse effects on the body. Some of this can lead to life-threatening complications. In fact, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, smoking cigarettes increases the risk of dying from all causes, not just those linked to tobacco use. So, don't smoke. Now, it's time to say goodbye. Dear students, stay safe and healthy. No more today. Take care. Bye. And thanks to all.